Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of Object Oriented Design Patterns, we're going to be looking at some um, basic creational design patterns for C++, and specifically we're going to be looking at singletons. So as the name kind of implies, uh, singletons refer to a single object, so we're only going to have a single uh, instance of a particular class. So in this case, you know, why would we ever want this? Well, let's think about things that might have concurrent access. So let's say we have a, um, a, a class that is for say a, lo a logging tool. Well, if we had multiple instances of that same class, we could run into problems if we have multiple objects concurrently trying to access the same file. And then likewise, if there's some piece of hardware or somewhere, um, that we want to kind of serialize access to, well, one way of doing it is to have a singleton, and so everybody goes through the same class. Now, in our example, we'll just look at a very basic simpleton and how this will, would actually be implemented uh, in C++. So in this case, we'll have a class called singleton, and uh, one thing we'll notice right off the bat is that we'll have our constructor, but instead of having kind of an outward-facing constructor that's um, public, we'll go ahead and keep the constructor private. And this just ensures that nobody can say, uh, say new singleton outside of, outside of you know, uh, the class itself. So only this method that we're going to talk about later, this get instance, is actually able to call this constructor. And this is just how we ensure that we'll only ever have a single instanti instantiation of this class. And then we'll also have a static um, so the actual instance itself will declare a static, so it'll be static singleton. And then uh, we'll go ahead and initialize instance to be uh, a null pointer down here. Uh, this is just so we can make sure that we're comparing against uh, null. So down here uh, in our actual get instance, uh, all that we're going to do is we're going to check to see if uh, instance actually exists yet. So we'll check to see if it's not a null pointer. If it is a null pointer, we'll create a new singleton. So we'll actually call the constructor. And we can do that because we're within a method of the singleton class. Remember, outside, if we we're just in our main function and we did new singleton, that wouldn't work because it's private. But because we're within a method of singleton, we're able to call a new singleton or call that constructor. And so we'll go ahead and set instance equal to the pointer return from this new, and then we'll go ahead and return it as well. Now every other call to uh, to uh, this get instance, it won't create a new singleton. It'll just simply drop through, and uh, it'll just return that single instance variable that's part of the class up here. Right. So it'll just return this uh, pointer to the single singleton instance. Okay. And so what will we do here? So inside of our actual main function itself, all we're going to do is create uh, a singleton. First, by you know before it uh, it actually exists, we'll we'll call get instance uh, for this sing simple singleton one pointer, and then for the second one, we'll call uh, that get instance again. But we'll see that we get the exact same pointer. Therefore, we're only going to get. Uh, one instance. We're actually only looking. We're looking at the same instance of the class, just with different. Uh, just you know, two uh, pointers, both singletons, but they're both the same object. So there's other considerations that we should care about later, which is how we make sure that, you know, if we have multiple threads, how do we make sure that we only ever have one singleton get created because you know we run into kind of race condition we, we run into some race conditions if we have multiple threads and that's something we'll talk about later uh, another thing that we should also mention is that we have the ability with singletons to do something like lazy instantiation so this is something you may have heard of or you may not have so lazy instantiation just says that we're able to delay the actual initialization or creation of the singleton object until somebody calls get instance now we could be eager about it and just create it at the start of our program, or we could just um, we could just wait and say, "Hey, don't wait for this. Uh, don't you know? Don't be you know kind of eager and try to make this object early. Just put it off until you absolutely have to have this object." Um, and that's one uh, nice thing about uh, singletons as compared to say having something that's global. 
if you have something that's global, you're guaranteeing that you need to use those resources. Um, if you just leave it as something like this with lazy instantiation, well, you really only need to use up those resources on your first call to get instance, and then, then you have to pay that cost. And so we'll go ahead and compile this, and we'll see that you know, with that get instance, unsurprisingly, it returns the exact same pointer because it's the exact same object. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for uh, this episode of object-oriented uh, design. So we've got some other stuff coming up as far as design pattern creation design patterns go. So we're going to be going over builders, factories, object pools, prototypes, and we talked about singletons today. And then later on, we'll talk about you know how we can make a little bit more robust of say a singleton later. Uh, feel free to check out all this code on github.com slash coffee before arch. This is all going to be under the uh, object oriented design pattern section, but there's other topics as well, such as C++, GPU programming with CUDA, parallel programming. So we looked at object oriented design patterns and we look at creational design. We see we've got all of these here. And if we go to singleton, this is that file that we looked with, uh, we looked at today. So feel free to check this out, download it, play around with it. And let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and I hope you have a nice day.